It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And this is going to be the eight best bourbon or American rise to drink this fall. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. This is 100% opinion based. <laughs> um, you know, fall's my favorite time, probably because it's my birthday also, uh, but I just feel like it's perfect bourbon drinking weather. Like, mm. especially coming out of summer and those hot, you know, end of summer days. And then finally you get that cool, crisp first day of you get fall. get to put on your flannel. You get to put on a jacket. It was layers come into the picture. Very fall right here. Right? But yeah, I feel like fall is definitely the time when you get into that bourbon state of mind where you're like, or whiskey state of mind where you're like, I want toasty, smoky, campfire vibes. Foliage. And just, yeah, outdoorsy. Yes. Anyway, so we were like, let's make a list of the things that remind us the most of fall. Give us those fall vibes. So Yes. Well, we're going to go ahead and get into it in no particular order Yes. with number one. Rare breed, rye, hasn't been out that long. A newcomer. Yes, but when we did the uncorking, I think you were the one who said this is fall mm -hmm. in a glass, and oh, who could so, argue? So here it is. Oh, it just smells yeah. like leaves and outdoors. And <laughs> yeah, and that nice rye spice. And again, with that outdoorsy crisp, like nighttime camping or like. I feel like I'm, I'm eating tr tree twigs, but in a very good way. <laughs> You know, almost like it's covered with a little bit of light chocolate. You yeah, know? It's yeah. Good. It's like some fiddle faddle. Oh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. So as we were talking about putting together this list, I, it is difficult, and I think again, a hundred percent subjective. Let's to, let's explain ourselves. Yeah, to assign a bourbon or rye a category as far as seasons, um, but I think it's a lot like you know, I think all bourbon is can be fall, but not all. Fall is bur <laughs> I no, love that's it. not how it works. But it's kind of like, okay, so in like the fashion world, each person has a summer, spring, fall, winter color palette. And mm. it's not that you can't wear every color. You you can totally wear every color. But like, for example, I am a autumn winter color palette and Ooh. like jewel tones work best on me. I can uh. wear pink, but it's just not gonna look that great. <laughs> just, you know, those flavor notes and those notes that, that really put you in that false state of mind, yes. but also the feelings, like the, yeah. the atmospheric feelings that you get. Does think, it put you in flannel or no? You have to it, ask yourself. Does it put you in flannel? Can it you puts, see yourself in flannel? It puts this? flannel on the skin? Or else it gets the vodka again. Oh no. <laughs> this you, is very fall. It is very fall. You get that rye spice, you get that proof, uh, that, what is it? I forgot what the new one is. 112.2. I can never remember the point. You get that proof, you get that rye spice, mm. you get those nice foliage mm. notes on the nose. I think it's perfect for fall. Perfect. And number two is Old Forester Single Barrel 131 Proof. Woo hoo hoo! Now this is a pick. So, proof may vary, I guess. Yeah, um, uh, for sure. This is a Total Wine & More um, store pick. $90 for so this one. A little more up there on the price scale, but at that 131 proof, you know, it's not unheard of. Right. Oh, such oak and pepper notes coming through. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, and ooh. really warming you up. This is cooking over a campfire. Oh yeah. Because it has those oak and smoke notes in there. Whoa, <laughs> and of course a nice, you a nice hug. strong hug. This you want to be sipping out of a of a tin or a metal cup. Oh yeah, you know, like you're a frontiersman. Um, oh, is that what you imagine yourself? I am. Not. I love it. I am not. No, uh, you... uh, man. Um, <laughs> now. <laughs> This bridge is a good topic. Are we just going to put a bunch of barrel proofs in here? And the answer is no. Mm -mm. Uh, you would think that, you know, we would go for like some Stag Juniors or uh, Elijah Craig barrel proofs, anything that are high proof mm -hmm. just because they give you the chest feel. Sure. A lot of people said Midwinter. <laughs> a lot of people said Midwinter's Night Dram. Oh, <laughs> a lot of women are, is what I heard. A lot of women are saying. Should I start that over? No, I'm no. leaving okay. it in. Okay, okay, great. Um, but. To Chad's point, we're thinking of some of those other really aggressive barrel proofs as something wintry that, you know, if you've been outside shoveling snow and your toes are cold, you need to come in and get warmed up like that. It's like the Campbell Soup commercial where the snowman melts into the to the boy, but this is for adults. <laughs> but the adult version of that. It, it melts and, and it's, just, it's just a dude. Yeah. He's like... <laughs> Drink more bourbon. Oh, <laughs> it's me. It's, it's, it's me. Chad. It's me. Um, but yeah, so we're saving those for for a winter list because we hope to keep these lists going. Yeah. So uh, it's not just barrel proofs. It's no. got to have the right fall flavors inside, and this one makes it. <laughs> these can be a little bit harder to find. These fly off the shelves. I know this one did. Um, so here is a not as great of a fall flavor, but is still like still in the fall. Still in the fall, but not as on nose as this one. But 
Old Forester 1920. Now we tried this one, we're like, this one could work, but it's not quite what this one's yeah. bringing to the table. This is what we call an all around, it's just good solid bourbon. Yes. This one has more of those fall flavors that we're mm -hmm. talking about for this list, but, but you can't find it. Then go here. At number three, we have Yippie Kaye. Yes, Mother by Hot Truckers. Hi West. <laughs> Yippie Kaye. Uh, you talked last last one about being a frontiersman. I feel like this is a frontiersman's bottle. Oh, for sure, yeah. This, like, custom glass bottle. I mm. love it. Now, this one is one that uh, is going away, so go out and find this while you can. It's, it's a great uh, whiskey. Oh, that's so nice on the uh -huh. nose. Ooh. So this is actually a blend of... Um, straight rise finished in vermouth and syrah barrels so it's a little more unique uh and this one actually comes to us from jason and natalie who are patrons so yes. thank you jason and natalie for at giving this gifting this to us because now it's on our fall list you 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 Utahians? i'm not really sure how that goes you, what he's trying to say is they're mm, from utah yeah you could also say campfire we should have a bottle of campfire oh yeah and <laughs> i think you could say a lot of things from high west actually mm -hmm. uh the campfire the boo rye the double rye uh, they've got a lot of great options that I think fall in this category, but this yeah. is one that we had handy uh, and we really like that finished aspect. Yeah, it's giving me like fall baking mm. and... Yeah, this one's more inside fall. Yeah, inside. Boozied up next to a fireplace, maybe with a yeah. good book. I don't know. Yeah, it's got the the allspice-ness that gets mm. really turned up in a midwinter's night dram, but that's more uh, later. That's a winter holiday. For, I definitely like holiday. Yeah, I would put that us. on a holiday list. This, it has it but it's, it's turned down and it's turned down to the point of like fall. <laughs> you know, again, right. cook, cooking inside and that, yeah. that type of thing. At number four, we've got Old Tub. Old Tub. <laughs> of course you had to. Yeah. Now this is 100 proof, it's a bottled and bond. Uh, and the thing I love the most about this is that it's unfiltered. So at 100 proof, you're still getting a lot of those creamy uh, notes. Yeah, I love that. Um, but this one, in my mind, is like the perfect bottle price-wise and taste-wise for a fall, good fall tailgate. Yes. Like, I, I don't know how much of that's going on this year, but this video could be viewed at any time, so... Virtual. Virtual tailgates. Tailgate. Um, but yeah, outdoors, mm. sitting in a lawn chair. Sometimes you yes. start day drinking and you don't want to go as heavy. This could be sipped out of a solo cup, let's be honest, and it would be fine. Like, this is, uh, mm. for the price, it's a great value. For the price, it is um, complex, comparatively to the mm -hmm. price, but it's not so super complex that you're gonna get all weird about it. If you are sipping it at a tailgate and you're drinking it out of a solo cup or whatever. Right. You know, um, and you might be like, hey, it's a Jim Beam, why did you pick this Jim Beam? Is it just the nuttiness that's getting you there? There's a really great toasted nuttiness There's on this one. There's a toasted chestnuts on an open fire, but not winter. We're not going holiday not with holiday. it. It has that quality that you don't quite get in like a Knob Creek or the other yeah. Jim Beams. It's almost giving me like a specific pecan note, like almost like a candied pecan, which I really feel like fits in with fall, but it's e yeah. easy, approachable. Again, I think it's a good, like you said, if you sipped it out of a solo cup, no one would be mad about it. This bottle would be mad about it. I mean, it comes in at a, what, uh, mm. around 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Yeah. You drink it out of the bottle. You can do whatever you want. I mean, doesn't matter. It's up to you. Uh. This is a perfect time to cut in here in the middle and say that our home on the internet is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the Glen Cairns that we're drinking from uh, back in stock soon. Uh, rocks glasses, which are now back in stock. Challenge coins, t-shirts, which I do have underneath here. I'm not wearing And today. so much more always coming at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash suburbanite for as little as one buck a month. I will say that our patrons helped us put this episode together. We put a poll out to them uh, and asked for their suggestions to add to this list. And so you can be a part of that or you can be getting, you know, after the episode exclusives and more at patreon.com slash suburbanite. There you go. All right, on back to the list. On back to the list. Back to the list. Number five, Bardstown Bourbon Company collaboration series. We've got a couple that we're lumping in mm -hmm. here. We tried a lot of their collabs and these were the two that stood out the folliest. The folliest of them all. The folliest of them all. It was a folly of flavors. But we also recognize that you might not be able to get one of these, so we wanted to give you a couple of options yeah. since they are kind of a limited series. So what do you I, got, Chad? I have a collaboration with uh, Goodwood, and mm -hmm. this is uh, straight bourbon whiskey finished in Goodwood Brewing Company's Walnut Brown Ale Casks. All right, and then I have another one uh, that's a collaboration with Copper and King 
rankings, and this is finished in their apple brandy barrels. Oh my. Uh, so mine is 120.9 proof, so it's got that proof on there. And then I don't know that I need to explain that apple and fall go together, do I? I don't um, think you do. Don't I waste could, your breath. But mine's 103.2. It's a little bit lower, but it's, uh, you know, the same of uh, back to tailgating. Mm -hmm. You could easily be drinking a beer out there tailgating. This kind of takes um, an ale and a brown, a brown walnut ale at that and combines it with bourbon. So boom, fall in a glass. Yeah, and I think the, the caramelized notes of that like walnut brown ale uh, come through. It's really nice. Mmm. Fall. Give me another flannel, Sarah. Wanna, you want two wanna, flannels? I want a two flannel. This one gets two flannels. <laughs> That's how we're rating them on the <laughs> scale of flannels. Two flannels out of th three flannels. <laughs> yeah, two. This one will give two out of three flannels. Mm. What about yours? How's yours? I mean, on the nose, you get like that apple-y sweetness. It's almost like a, uh, what's the apple donut? An apple fritter. Ooh. Uh, so delicious. Yes. That 120 proof coming through, warming you up. Uh, it's rev definitely revved up uh, versus this one, which is with the 103. Mm -hmm. It's not hitting you over the head on the palate with the apple, but it's very subtle oh, and it's wow. in there. Those nice brandy notes uh, come through and they're very warm. It's it's oh. very cozy. I like it a lot. Okay, this one makes me want to take off the flannel. It, <laughs> it, it's it's warming me up. This is a. a it gets negative two flannels. <laughs> this is a, uh, a bourbon or, or or finished finished whiskey coat. Is what this one is. Yeah. But, it, wow. It warmth. So I, I want to be outside right now because of this. I want to be wrapped up in a blanket, and I also want to eat an apple pie <laughs> or oh, a there, fritter. There you go. At number six, we have New Riff Rye. So, you, you know, you could be saying, guys, Jet, Sarah, any rye, any rye for fall, and you wouldn't be wrong, but there are some ryes that are more fally. Mm -hmm. And we feel like this is one of them. This is a, this, yeah. 95.5, 95% uh, 95 rye, 5% malted barley. Um, it's a bottled and bond, so it's uh, at least four years. Mm -hmm. Just that nose. It's just got the fall, fallness. It gives me, yeah. I know I've said toasty like so many times, but. <laughs> well, that's what this episode is about. Toasty and woodsy and oaky and uh, mm. sometimes smoky. Yeah, I think you get a nice oak influence paired with the rye spice, mm. that 95.5. I love how this one's just 100 proof, but it goes straight. It goes straight. To that Kentucky hug. Yes. Um, yeah, and it makes you warm, and it's got a little peppery note on there. It just feels crisp. Like, for a good crisp day, yeah. this would be great. A peppery clove, I feel like. Yeah. If I may also say that this bottle just you screams may. fall. You know, bourbon color, orange and black, um, mm. with little green accents. It, you could even say this would be perfect for Halloween, and it might. Uh, but I also think that this is just a great fall look. It's got the fall look going on. How many how many flannels did you give this? Because of the proof, one and a half flannels. One and a half out of three flannels. Yeah, maybe, maybe just it... one light flannel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I might give it 1.75 flannels. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those sp fall spice flavors that we talked about earlier, but they're toned down just a bit in this one, but I think yeah. that makes it a nice, easy sipper. But the 95.5, what spice it has is definitely mm -hmm. there. And on the second sip, it's staying more in the mouth. First sip, it's more here in the chest in the feels. Chest. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Number seven, Michter's Toasted Barrel. 91.7 proof? That's right. 91.4. 91.4. I said yes, and I was wrong. Yes, of course, we were going to have a toasted in here. Now, this one this one is not the 2020 release. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. It's the, the release before that, uh, which I think was 2018. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we've had all of the ones except this year's release. And, right. and you know, they're, they're in the same ballpark. So yeah. we, we feel safe uh, recommending the 2020 as well. I get roasted marshmallows on the nose of this one. It makes me feel like I am wrapped up in a blanket after a day of hiking, <laughs> roasting a marshmallow. Yeah, there is a definite s'mores element to this. It screams so you're, you're around a fire. Um, this, oh God, Sarah, this might be, this might be three flannels. I don't know. <gasps> I'm three flannels to the wind at this point. I don't know. I might give three flannels to one of our earlier, uh, to maybe that 131 wow. proof um, that, from Forrester. Or the or, Rare Breed Or ride. the Rare Breed Ride. Yeah, that was before we figured out that we were going to rate these on flannels. We didn't have the flannel system then. Genius 
It cannot be forced. It has right. to come out <laughs> when it does. It can't just be requested. You just gotta let it go. It's a process. Yeah. No, I get subtle, like, oh. again, like almost a graham crackery note with that. Wow, shut up with that. Shut up with it. <laughs> it's so full. I'm sticking with three flannels. <gasps> No one can take the three flannels from him. Okay, well, Chad, let's be honest though. It makes sense that you would give this three flannels. This is delicious. Um, this might be the quintessential pick of the list. What was that movie? Three flannels outside of Des Moines, three, Iowa. Three billboards outside of, uh, I forget where. Like graham cracker, chocolate, toasted marshmallow s'mores. I love this. It's making me feel the most, um, in a place, you know what I mean? In a place, But yes. do you know what I'm saying as far as like, it's making me remember a time when I was somewhere. Correct. Versus just flavors. Yes, this is this is sense memory to the mm -hmm. max. And what's really impressive is that it's just a little over 90 proof. That's what gets me so much because this is yeah. one, like, not normally do we go for the 91.4 proof. Yeah. Um, now, the thing about this one though, we're gooing and gawing over it, which, which makes sense because it's not readily available at all. Uh, and we recognize that, which is why we put number eight on the list. Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. So another newcomer of now, 2020. Sarah, did, did we just shoot ourselves in the foot by doing the mictors before this one? Because this is like more than ha half the price. True, um, but proof wise comparable. Yes. This one is 94. 94, duh, Chad, yeah. it's Elijah Craig. So, but not uh, 91.4 versus 94, both toasted barrels. This one is gonna be more readily available. Now it just did get released uh, this fall. So, so it's getting released. It will, uh, you assume, roll out to your area at yeah. some point. Uh, I also think the Elijah Craig rye is another good, an honorable mention that didn't make it on this list. Yeah. Personally, like the Old Forester rye, think that it could have made this list. However, we don't necessarily a line on that one all the time. It's you, true. Chad had a call for uh, the Wild Turkey Bottled and Bond, but we had to agree. We had to agree on all these. She vetoed I it. I vetoed it. And I, I vetoed that Old Forcer ride. You did, yeah. yeah. This is giving me similar marshmallow yes. notes. Yes, this is really good. Um, I, I feel like the three flannels of the last one was justified in the price. I feel like this is also justified. Even though they're from different distilleries, the, they could be related. Yeah. This one's a little more aggressive uh it, this one's a little smokier not, this one has a couple more harsh edges which I, don't get me wrong i'm being critical to this one as compared to the mictor's toasted barrel i think that this is a great pour. yeah one that gets released every four two to four years yeah. like not every year Right. In other words. So we, we couldn't that's how put LA, it on. That's how L.E. it is. We should have done seven fall bourbons and American rice plus one that you'll never find. Sarah, um, you might be an L.E. if you don't get even released once a year. God. <laughs> We're not going to do that. <laughs> that's not going to be a trend. I think this was a great way to end this list. Ooh. I completely agree. Well, we don't want to call this a consolation prize for if you can't get the Mictor's Toasted Barrel. No. But if you're thinking about going after the Mictor's Toasted Barrel, this is one if you can get it in your area. Don't feel bad if you can't, if you can get this. Right. Or get this and if you love it, if you're wild about this one, then you need to put in the effort to find uh, the Toasted Barrel. Yeah. Whenever you can. No, this one is very folly. Oh. But man, trying it before that Mictor's, I don't know. <sighs> Well, maybe we should have gone the other way, but it's too late now. Yeah, it's too late. What I can say, Chad, is mm. that I am very cozy. Yes. I don't know if it's this jacket, this hug that I'm getting from Lots the past of hugs. eight uh, whiskeys that we've had. It is nice. Mm. But I'm really glad mm. that we did this little uh, compilation. It's almost like a mix CD for our, our mix CD, a mixtape, whatever. Neither one are tape. made. Are it's made. a mixed reel to reel. None of those mixed are made -track. anymore. Yeah. No. Well, it's vinyls a, now. It's a Spotify playlist. Yeah. <laughs> no, for our fans, from us to our fans of this is what we would put on our, if they had a thing of a Spotify playlist compar comparable to a bourbon list or a And it would be list. called Fall Feelings. Fall Feels. Fall yeah. Feels. Fall Feels. Uh, there you go. Fall Feels list. Uh, this like is it. what it would be. And so 
Again, this is 100% our opinion. This is our playlist. We put it together. Uh, we hope to do more, maybe a holiday one. That could be fun. But yes. we want to know what you guys think. If we miss your fall feels pick, Down in let the us comments. know in the comments. Yeah, for sure. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, we would love to have you. You can click right up here to do that. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, till next time, drink more fall bourbons or rice. Thank you.